Hello world! Welcome back to another Try Hack Me Challenge video. In this video, we're going to be going through the OSINT room. Let's get started. So OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence, and what that is is basically any kind of intelligence or information that you can gather from a public source, right? Or glean from someone that can give you consent for certain information, right? And this is very useful when trying to ID somebody or find somebody when they're like missing and all sorts of things, right? It's used far and wide for several types of investigations. What information can you possibly get with just one photo? So we're gonna go ahead and download the challenge file after we join the room here. And let's download the file, save that. And we'll open up our files rank. Let's take JPEG and put it in here. Let's open it up. Okay, it's just an XP image. So that means that there's probably some information in the metadata that we need to look at. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our our try hack me folder on our tally box here okay so now that we have that we can run exif tool on it and we got some good stuff here right so what's our first question what is this user's avatar of okay so we probably need to go to some kind of site or something because i didn't see any avatar or anything that looked like that inside the file itself or sorry in the image itself so Let's see what we got here. Okay, we have some coordinates. Those might be useful for later. And then we got a copyright by O. Wood Flint. Okay, so that looks kind of interesting. I don't see anything else that looks interesting in here. So let's just see what we get if we Google that. All right, we got a few things here, actually. We've got a Twitter account. We've got a WordPress site. And we've got a GitHub link. Okay, so why don't we open all of those since we may have to look at all of them and let's see what we got. Right off the bat, we've got a, you know, if we look at our Twitter account, we've got the profile image right here. It's of a cat. So close that. Let's go ahead and type that answer in. All right. What city is this person in? Okay, so if we look at his Twitter account again, we'll see. Ah, he's posted a BSSID down here. You should never do this. What a BSSID is, is it's the MAC address of the wireless router or access point that the user is using to connect via Wi-Fi. And what we can do is if we have this BSSID, we can actually go to this nifty tool called Wiggle. And what that is, it's just like a series of maps and databases of like wireless networks, right? And it shows statistics for them and everything. And these are submitted by like war drivers, which are people that drive by and basically gather information from surrounding networks. And of course, net stumblers and net huggers too, according to the description. But anyways, so if we click on it, we come in here and let's maximize this. And we are not going to let wiggle.net know our location. We have a spot to enter our BSS ID in right here. And then we're just going to click this filter button down here. And should if you saw all that dark color right there, those were all the different spots, right? But now that we filtered it out, you don't see those anymore. So we're just going to look around the map, see if we can find anything that looks something of interest to us and that looks like something right there in london so that icon determines whether there's like a an access point or a wi-fi router that's exposed and london seems to be the answer to our next question right what city is the person living in london all right what's the ssid of the wap or wireless access point he is connected to so all we got to do is drill down into it now I've heard that it's not showing up for some people or any more rather, and that could be the case. It looks like it's the case for us as well. Fear not, we do have the solution. So what would have showed up is Unilever Wi-Fi, and that's going to be our actual answer if the challenge was working properly. 
But no, not to fear, right? It would have showed up here if it existed or if it was broadcasting. What is his personal email address? Okay, so I think we're done with Wiggle. And if we come back here, there's only a couple tweets and neither one has the email address in it. So let's check here. Okay, I don't see an email there either. Aha, his GitHub actually has an email right here. Project starting soon, email me if you want to help out. All right, so this is our email address right here. Next question. What site did you find his email address on? Easy, GitHub. Where has he gone on holiday? Okay, I think I saw that in our blog here. Yeah, I'm in night. It says, hey, I'm in New York right now, so I will update this site right away with new photos. Dope. Easy. Easy money. All right, we're almost done. What is this person's password? Okay, so that might be a little bit trickier to find. I doubt his password's on his Twitter. And uh, there's only one branch here. Let's see. Maybe one of these has it. Nope. Uh-uh. So it wasn't in any of his commits. Let's see what this is. Moved email address for privacy. Okay. So it has to be in his blog somewhere. Contact? Since this is a personal blog and it's WordPress, maybe there's something hidden inside our source. Not seeing anything yet. Maybe we should do a control F on like password. You should never post your password inside the source code, by the way, if it's in here. Pass. Okay. Huh. Wait a minute. What's this? Aha. That looks like a password to me. Yep. Without a doubt. And that was right under this hey statement. Oh, I just, I just, I think I just did that. I just didn't notice it. But yeah, it's right there. It's right underneath. They made the text white so you couldn't see it. And that's it for this room. I hope you learned a little bit about OSINT. This was a pretty easy challenge to get through. Maybe there'll be another harder OSINT challenge in the future. But anyways... Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Show your support. Check out our Discord and Patreon links in the description box down below. If you have any feedback, leave it in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.